neighborhood. Why? Game is in the neighborhood, man. Now, game, I gotta ask you about this, man. I heard a, um just a quick comment when somebody asked you about G Unit. Yeah. Now, G Unit, as far as Banks, Fifty, Young Buck, Yayo, they're back together. Yeah. They've been putting out a lot of music, man. Where's your head with uh with G Unit when they talk about like reunion, so on and so? And I heard you like they ask you a question and it, and it wasn't like something where I was like, oh, game on their head right now. Yeah, you know what it is, man. I saw um I saw the picture on Instagram of um you know all of them banks, Yayo, Fifty, and Buck, and uh, I thought that was cool of mm-hmm. Fifty because at this point, you know he he got the new series Power too, which I didn't even know that was his right. series. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, watching yeah. It. And then uh, after I seen you know Fifty, you know on the credits, I was like. I don't know if I should T vote this. <laughs> you know, I don't know how I feel, right. but I already was embedded in the show. Or not. Is he, is he right. Right here? But I like the show. It's a good yeah. show. So you know what, man? I just kept watching it. You know, That's and every dope. time they show fifty name at the end, I blink. And right. then yeah. I get back and then to it's it. Gone. You know, but nah, man, I, I saw the picture and I really instantly thought that that was cool of him with all the money he got because he don't need, you know, music no more right. to give Banks, Yayo, and definitely Buck because that's my that's my partner right. a chance to go back out there and do shows and mm-hmm. make right. money because G-Unit, you know, the name will pull in, you know, you know, we'll pack a building. Right, right, right. So, uh, you know, they get to split that up, and I thought that was cool. That was my first and only thought about it. Oh, that's it. So you weren't thinking if, I, if somebody got on the phone, like, I got a verse. No, nah, I don't got to right, do right, that. Right, right, at right, this right. point in my career, man, yeah, I yeah. think that uh, when G Unit was at its at its strongest point, man, I was a member of it, and we did what we did, and mm-hmm. then I think that uh, we moved on from that, and they doing their thing, and I'm I'm good, right? You know, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. What what's your relationship with like with uh, with Dr. Dre right now? Um, Dr. Dre, uh, Dr. Dre just sent um. Uh, 100 headphones to uh, my whole uh, entire Frog uh, organization, the basketball, the youth we basketball We got to talk team. about awesome. Frog also, yeah. man. Like, like, first, what is it? Why are you so dedicated to it? You know what I'm saying? Because people do this. They say, oh, game was on TMZ last night. But they don't think about all these kids that you outfit yeah. or all these kids that you that you showing something to. Like, you, you really took... And, and I mean, like, man, I tried to hit you a couple of days ago because there's this dude named Mr. Dribble or something like that. Dribble too much, yeah. That dude. Nice. So you next to him all like just just the experience that you giving these kids, man. And you know, growing up, game like if we didn't have certain people at certain times, exactly. no telling what would have went down. Yep. You know what I'm saying? What makes game say, you know what? I want to put this this the and not just throwing the money. I mean, like really got them practicing at the crib, coaching ownership. You know what I'm saying? Not just yeah. like oh, here's some money and let somebody else do it. I, I'll probably come to a game. You know what's crazy is that uh, one of my best friends got murdered last year, uh, Michael Rashard Jr. And uh, you know his pops basically raised me big frog mm. and oh. uh so his name was little frog you remember that mm. and um so in his memory um i built a court at my house nba regulation court you know cost me about 150 grand you Good know Lord. from the floor to the the baskets and all that and in the middle of the court it's a memorial court to uh you know uh little mike um which is you know little frog and uh a few of my friends for the longest we all got kids around the same age so we've been start we've been talking about doing our own basketball organization and uh once i got the time man i just did it and i only i started off just wanting to do a team for harlem and you know a few of my homies kids which right, harlem is his about, son yeah it was going to be about 10 or 12 kids and then so many kids and parents start hitting me on the you know insta dm and all of that and asking about it and i started letting everybody come before i knew it we had 111 kids yeah. And uh, I had bought 111 pair of LeBrons, Kevin Durant's, the shorts, yeah. the practice gear. I got an invoice today for 12000 from the jersey, man. And he you, ain't going to get that this week. Right. Not <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy about that game is that with with that, and those key, I mean, they look clean, though. Yeah, they nice, And, and they look uh, custom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know how you go someplace and it's like, all right, cool. Yeah. Or, like, they look, they look extremely yeah, they, they, clean. Every jersey has the, has the kid's face. Uh, sublimated inside of inside, oh. it's embedded in the jersey. Oh, that's even yeah. so. Uh, you know what's crazy about that is that after the season over, I gotta buy new jerseys for the new kids. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because nobody want to wear nobody else's face. Or be like, yeah, like you know, you gotta wear. You almost look like them. Yeah. You almost look like them. <laughs> this starting to get ridiculous. I got yeah. too far in. I but got you too far. Look different this year. Yeah, no, nah, the kids are having a blast. Yeah, we've, man. We've won. Uh, my 11 U team has won every tournament that they've entered. Um, just took you know a championship. So game, it's not just level. a team. Yeah. It's a you put together like enough to play in a league. Like a, that's a hundred something kids. Got, like, we got eight kids from uh, all the way from um, seven U all the way up to high school. That's so, dope as hell, yeah, it's man. Cool, man. You treating them kids right? I would and hate to see what it looked like at know, the end. Yeah, you know what's crazy? Because you ain't adding up pizza nights and you know what I'm saying, yeah. like. 
That's some long bread. Yeah, and I got to talk to Nike, too, because the seven-year-old kids' shoes just cost the same. They cost the same as the 14-year-olds, which is a little crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. you need to go downtown, man, just get them some of them boogie fake <laughs> yeah, ones. Yeah, the one, yeah, yeah. As soon as they cross over, the whole bottom fall out. But it's cool. Keep playing. Yeah. <laughs> but just tell them, like, man, you're breaking the ankles out there, boy. Exactly. you you leaving your soul out there. We got game in yeah. the neighborhood, big boys' neighborhood. Special thanks to Robert Wayne Footwear and Doc Martin.